had thought wrongly apparently that this drama between me and Onision was over when he made what was actually an hilarious joke video about me in social repose threatening to shoot him which we didn't by the way for those people who for some reason believed him there's the female goth counterpart who also paints her face white wears black like death lipstick has drawn on eyebrows and oh yeah she wears demon red contacts so this is me making a video about the two people who obviously want me dead it was really funny and I thought okay cool that's done now but no, maybe it's his fondness for goths. Maybe he somehow actually cares about me and wants me to do well. Maybe he just wants my attention. But Nisian has mentioned me again and used my face in his thumbnail next to poor old Marky Plyer for some reason. All this unprovoked attention made me think that maybe he has some kind of crush on me or something. And I know that bullying is often a form of flirting, but I just wanna say, I know that you're into like threesomes and weird kinds of open relationships. I'm not like that. I'm sorry, I'm married and monogamous. I'm sorry. Let's start by seeing what he said about me this time. YouTubers that gave up on their channels. I've just noticed that a few months ago he's made a very similar video, YouTubers Who Stopped Trying, but he's once again used a picture of Hannah Minx's gratuitous cleavage in the thumbnail, and she hasn't been on YouTube for ages. You're still riding on Hannah Minx's tail? Why? <laughs> oh god, I'm not the new Hannah Minx, am I? I don't want to be that. <laughs> I don't- I'm not the new Hannah Minx. Let's see what Derenision has to say about me this time. Should we see the far too old for his haircut YouTube hey. gamer? Let us all sit and listen to his mating call. But let's keep it real, this chick is the one who's given up. Look at me you guys, I'm an easter egg. I'm dying my legs in a bath full of food coloring. <laughs> I'm an easter egg, as in, once you discover me it's really exciting. I'm sweet and nicely decorated. I'm gonna drink a cup of Mountain Dew mixed with Doritos. Oh my gosh, it matches the color of my teeth. Orange. Ew, this is gross. <laughs> that tasted like shit. And my teeth aren't orange, they're yellow. Tell us something we don't already know. <laughs> Such an edge lord. <laughs> we are not robots. That is a picture from a costume party I went to. I don't look like that all the time. Such an edge lord. I'm such an edge lord. I have to constantly try not to cut myself on my own edges. What kind of childish insults are these anyway? How old are you again, Greg? Thirty. See, we're not so different, you and I, Greg. Oh wait. Yes we are. I built a loving community around my channel over time and earned every loyal subscriber by being a kind and friendly person. You were lucky and had a viral video of yourself dressed as a banana. The people who watch my videos call me queen or goals or mum for some reason. Your viewers call you a cuck. You release like a dozen videos a week whereas I only release two or three because I believe in quality over quantity. I bring attention to myself by inspiring and encouraging others to be and express themselves regardless of public opinion, by taking them on adventures and giving a window into underground scenes. You get attention by creating drama and bitching about popular YouTubers. You know, for someone who dislikes Leafy's hair so much, you are rather turning into him. And one Leafy is more than enough as it is. If anyone's given up on their channel, it's you, Greg. You are capable of creating entertaining and quality content and are a naturally good actor, but that stuff only peppers the click bait and the negative drama we see from you these days. You know, I've never said anything inherently negative about Anision. In fact, I may be one of the only people who gets his sense of humor. A lot of his stuff is very funny, but much of it is just hurtful and unnecessary. Why? Why include Marky Plyer in your video? He's too old for colorful hair. He's 27. If I don't have weird hair when I'm 72, I feel like I will have failed at life at some point. Speaking of age, we're all adults, aren't we? How about you act like one? Or does acting like a petulant child get you more views? When I make a normal chill video, I get around 100,000 views. When I make a crazy dramatic video, I get around a million views. Oh right, I see, it does. You don't care what people think of you? Well, I think you've made that clear anyway. The point is, I have certainly not given up on my channel and I never will, not until YouTube ends or I do. I don't even know why you would say that of me, let alone leave me for the big finale of the video. <laughs> like, my channel is my whole life, and I spend dozens of hours on it every week, like more than a full-time job. Believe it or not, I spend an average of 12 hours creating one five-minute video. Although I can't help but kind of understand what you mean. I feel like some of my more recent videos aren't that good, and I wonder if it's because I've spent so many of the past weeks either ill, or tangling with soul-crushing depression, or crippling self-hatred. And perhaps that reflects in those videos, I don't know. Like, I have so many great ideas for my channel and the stuff surrounding it. It. Like, I am only getting started. My Belfry Bat family and my channel are my whole life. Like, I don't know what I would do otherwise. Never mind that thousands of people have told me that I've given them confidence. And why the fuck 
would I give up on that? Don't say shit like that. So I don't really know what has prompted Anision this time to say that about me, even less so Marky Plyer, when if anyone's getting sad and desperate, it's Anision himself. Unlike yourself, Greg, I don't like negativity on my channel, so I'm ending this here. Greg, do the internet a favor. Focus your skills on making good videos instead of shit-stirring clickbait all the time. I know you're capable of it, you cuck.